Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now the question is, a ray of light is incident normally on a refracting surface of a prism of prism angle A and suffers a deviation of angle delta. Prove that the refractive index N of the material of the prism is given by small n equals to sine A plus delta upon sine A. So the problem is based on the topic prism and a particular situation of a prism in which the ray strikes normally that is making an angle of 90 degree with one of its surface for example this is a prism and the ray is entering in such a manner that it is making an angle of 90 degree the normal means making an angle of 90 degree so this particular ray when goes inside the prism material does not deviate because it is a general rule that when a particular ray enters from one medium to another medium and if it enters at a angle of 90 degree at an angle of 90 degree then it does not deviate so the ray pass in the same direction like this now for the interface xz the ray encounters again the glass air interface but now this particular ray is not making an angle of 90 degree it is entering at an angle of other than 90 degree some angle oblique angle we call this angle as oblique angle so if this particular ray encounters this surface this interface xz at an oblique angle then it deviates from its natural path for example if the angle this particular ray mixed with the normal is I, then this particular ray goes like this, goes like this. It moves away from the normal because this is a general rule. Then when the ray goes from a denser medium to a rarer medium, then in that particular case, the ray deviates away from the normal. So the ray goes like this. This is the emergent ray. And this whole angle, this total angle from here to here, this is the angle of refraction this is the angle of refraction r and uh, the deviation angle looks like this the deviation angle is this is the original path of this particular ray but the ray goes like this so this is the deviation angle the ray deviates along this path it has to go along this direction but it encounters this interface and goes like this so this particular angle, this angle is the deviation angle. So this is the whole geometry of this particular problem and we have to derive this particular relation for this particular case in a prism. So first of all, we apply the Snell's law, Snell's law in this particular form that uh, uh, at this particular interface, at this particular interface, the angle of incidence is I, so sin I multiplied by the refractive index of this particular medium which is n here should be equal to the refractive index of the outer side which is air so for the air it is 1 and the angle of refraction is r so into sine r so this is the equation number 1 so this is basically the Snell's law uh, in the equality form in this particular form actually the Snell's law we write in this manner n to 1 equals to sine i upon sine r or we can see that n2 upon n1 equals to sin i upon sin r. Alternatively, we can also write it as n2 sin r is equal to n1 sin i. So we have used this particular form here. So this is n sin i equals to uh, sin r. So this is our first equation. Now we apply some geometrical concepts, geometric concepts. For example, we call this point as, uh, for example, this is m, this is n and uh, for this particular uh, for this particular prism we can calculate for example this is angle of the prism a this is the angle of prism a and uh, this particular angle is 90 degree angle so x m n is 90 degree so a plus 90 degree plus this particular angle x n m x n m is 180 x and m is 90 minus 90 minus i this is 90 minus i and 
according to the angle sum property of the triangle so all the sum all these angle sum is 180 degrees from this we can calculate as a equals to y we can say that the angle of the prism is equal to the angle of incidence in this particular case so this is our second equation a equals to y uh, similarly we apply a geometrical concept here that the vertically opposed angles are same so we can say that uh, we can say that in this particular case that angle r is equal to i plus delta this is the whole angle r this angle is i the vertically opposite angle this section is i and this section is delta so i plus delta is r so r equals to y plus theta this is the equation number three now from all these three equations we can write it down as n sine in place of i we can put as a from equation second this is equal to sine r and sine r means sine i plus delta and sine i plus delta in the second line we can write in place of i as a so sine a plus delta so sine a n sin a is equal to sin a plus delta or we can say that n is equal to sin a plus delta upon sin a so this is the particular expression which we have to derive in this particular equation in this question so hope you understand the solution thank you